so it's been a couple days um but today i had the afternoon off and i used that time to put in fall crops in the greenhouse so i've got my beds all planted according to my planning plan um and I'm actually genuinely surprised because I started some things indoors for the indoor herb wall. Um, I started Moringa, which is good for like high protein greenery uh, and more basil to go on my herb wall. Uh, the Moringa suggests on its seed packet that you should soak the seeds for like three days in warm water uh, to help it sprout. And I tried that with my first batch of seeds and it, that did not work. Uh, and then I tried this on the heat mat with everything else and solid two out of three and call it a win. So before I finish putting the insect netting up, I'm going to show you what I did. I've got tokenashi turnips here. So they're white turnips. They're in those two rivets. Uh, I've got landis winter lettuce in here and then purple top white turn up in those little spots. And then I've got May Queen lettuce as well as uh, Torpedo long onions in there. And then I've got two different types of rab radishes. Um, and then I have my cilantro, the chard uh, and tiger violas. I'm honestly a little bit worried about putting the cilantro in the greenhouse uh, because I think we've all seen what happened to the, the back part of the, the kennel bed that is absolutely full of cilantro. Um, worst case scenario, I rip this out before it goes to seed. Yeah, I can't really afford to have cilantro taking over the greenhouse as well. It's, it's got enough going on outside. And then I've got Malaga purple radishes here. Um, Komatsuna Old Tokyo Greens, Round Black Spanish Radish, um, two different types of mustard. So I've got Ultraviolet Mustard and Japanese Giant, Red Beauty Radishes, Arugula and Sorrel are in here. Um, what are you? Daikon radish? Yeah, daikon radish. Corn salad, greens, and mitsuna. And then I've got China jade radish, which is similar to the daikon radish in shape and size. Over here I did the bug netting. Um, I've got two different types of tatsoi, uh, so I've got just the regular kind and then a rosette, which should be smaller. Um, Navone yellow rutabagas in here. And underneath here, it's a bit of an adventure. <sighs> All right. Groninger, maybe? Brussels sprouts? And I think it's white kohlrabi under here. I sprinkled more of the Navone yellow rutabagas underneath here, since I haven't ripped this out yet. I'm gonna see if that'll germinate on its own underneath. I've got Marion rutabagas here, Rapini broccoli, purple kohlrabis, um, Waltham 29 broccolis, Cordebue cabbage, Florence fennel, um, celeriac, giant red celery, um, and then I've got burgundy broccolis, and then I've got some Chinese cabbages tucked under here as well as, I think it's yellow heart. Um, oh no, I'm super wrong. Greens, I've got greens. So I got all these in um, perhaps a little bit later than I needed to for some things, like the rutabagas take a while to go to maturity. 
but um, we had those 90 degree days and it, anytime I've tried to plant radish when it's warm, it just goes straight to flower and that's, that's not what I want. So I want the roots. So I watered everything in really well. I am gonna make sure that I have the bug netting that's in my aisle way uh, over the plants now uh, because I am still seeing cabbage moths around. But if I don't get these in now, I'm not going to get any. So uh, bug netting is, is paramount. Um, yeah, glad to have this task done for today. Uh, my next task this evening is going to be peeling tomatoes so that I can can them. It's gonna be a long night. I ended up with 15 freezer gallon bags. It's a lot. Anyway, time to put my bug netting on. Thanks for coming along with me. And I'll catch you next time. So, uh, Flash and Minnie have never bothered the veggies. Oak, however, seems to think they're awesome. <sighs> Shameless. I've got my ears of corn and amaranth over here continuing to dry next batch of amaranth that I need to remove from its stalk is there. 